A woman from LeClaire found herself in Iowa City at the University of Iowa Hospitals when she had severe symptoms of COVID-19 and there weren't enough beds in the Quad Cities to treat her. That's where she met a therapist who made a huge difference for her. Local 4 Sharon Wren reports the nurse is now up for a national honor. Because she just looks so scared. I remember her face. Arrived there just a little before 4 a.m. She wasn't talking a lot because we were, had her on a BiPAP mask. My oxygen level was so low um, that I was in asphyxiation. I was uh, very confused. That's what I remember the most. She just had that look in her eyes like she was scared to death. Julie Krause is normally really active, whether it's with her family or serving as a Boy Scout troop leader. Her battle with COVID started not long after she got the vaccine. Um, and then, of course, the virus looked at the vaccine, which is just the empty shells, right, of the virus. And it said, whoa, free housing. And it exploded. It was like the suburbs. Her first thought, go to Genesis East. They didn't have the right bed or enough staff to handle her. The doctor um, on hand reached out to other other. Um, hospitals and agencies in the area and um, <clears throat> found one that had an open bed and that was the University of Iowa hospitals. A 4 a.m. arrival in Iowa City, a struggle because Julie wears glasses but couldn't with the oxygen mask. It sounds silly but those people who get right into your face and talk to just you uh, were the people that I could most easily understand and interact with. Especially respiratory therapist Rhonda Hackelman. Kraus felt an immediate bond with her. Sometimes just touching them, maybe holding their hand. Um, I, I like to wash people's faces, just something I, I do to all my patients. And I was uh, very confused and um, not able to comprehend all of the questions that they were asking me at the time. Julie won her battle with COVID, still needs some therapy, but she never forgot the impact Rhonda had on her recovery, nominating her for a nationwide award for respiratory therapist, an award Rhonda recently won. What would I say to Rhonda? I would say that you are an angel on earth and I am so grateful that you are my respiratory therapist. Sharon Wren, Local 4 News.